Another week, another victory for the Mabel Canton Cougars last week. Uh, Mabel Canton with the 44-26 to win over Lanesboro. Head coach Paul Talifstrew joining us. And uh, coach, uh, what was your assessment after watching the film of that one? Uh, we we improved a lot uh, on uh, offense. Um, our offensive line played really well. Um, and that shows with you know some of our uh, our offensive uh, stats. Um, defensively, I thought we were not ready. Um, we might have overlooked the team, um, and you know Lanesboro was a, was you know first week kind of kind of got handed to them, but you know they were they were ready and they were they were, were hungry to play hard, and they did. And and I don't think our kids were ready for that. Um, and they got a, I guess they, I think they got a kid back that uh, didn't play the first game and he, he ran us over. Uh, and so, I mean, it's just a, a test you got to, or, a, you know, you have to be ready when it, you know, from the very get go. But, uh, offensively, uh, you move the football, uh, very well. And obviously, uh, Caden, uh, Talifsu or Kale Talifsu, I should say, uh, with a great uh, game, 289 yards rushing four touchdowns on 25 carries and, and he doesn't have numbers like that with the other without the other eight guys helping out. Uh, how rewarding is it to uh, get those type of numbers, but realize it's also a team effort to get it to that level? Absolutely, and he knows that. Uh, I think every time he went, you know had a long run, he went back and he he thanked the guys for blocking for him and stuff like that. And and our 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 tight ends and guards and centers did a I mean great job on uh, you know uh, getting on getting in guys' ways and and staying blocks and blocking downfield and you know, the things you need for those explosive plays. And, uh, you know, I, he was very appreciative of that. And you mentioned the offensive line took another step this week. In what ways did they improve from week one to week two? Uh, like I like I said, you know, they they blocked downfield. They stayed on their blocks better. Uh, they took better paths to, you know, to where they needed to block. Um, I think they're understanding what their role is and what they, what they need to do. And you've put a good amount of points on the board here in the uh, first couple of weeks. You mentioned you want to see your defense improve a little bit. As part of the message uh, with the defensive end of uh, the things is we're not going to probably be able to outscore everybody every week. Uh, you need, the defense needs to do its part as well. Yes, we we do, and and it that's a, that's we're we're a little younger on the de defensive side, um, you know, and and it's you just got to trust your keys and trust what we you know what the coaches are telling you to do. And, you know, hopefully we're putting you in the, the best position and, and uh, you know, they just, they can't do too much. It, it's, yeah. you know, in junior high, you can do, you can run around and make all the tackles all over the field, but it, you know, in, in a varsity game, it, the older they get, you, you have to really focus in on your keys and what your responsibility is for that week. And with a young team, does it take a little uh, while to develop that trust in that collective unit, knowing the fact that I might not get the tackle, but if I do my job, my teammate will. Yes, absolutely. You know, they, you know, everybody has their part. You know, if you do your part, yeah, you may, you may stop one play one time, but the next time you do something and then somebody else makes a play, um, you know, they cut back or, you know, whatever, and you're, you're flowing from the backside and do what you're supposed to say. So it's always a team effort and, and just do what you're supposed to do and, you know, and be physical and be ready right away. And that, that's the biggest, biggest thing. And this week, uh, you're back on the road as you travel to Houston. What are you expecting out of the Hurricanes? Uh, the hunger, they're going to be hungry, and they're big. They get off the ball. Um, you know, offensively, they, they stay low. Um, they run a lot of different things. So it's 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 going to be a challenge. I, our kids are, are up for the challenge. I know they are. Uh, but we from the very good, we have to have a good week of practice. we got to get off the ball. Um, and again, focus on our keys on defense and then, you know, continue to, you know, get better on the offensive line because we do have, you know, we have some good backs and um, that multiple guys that can run the ball and uh, we just give them a seam and we, we, we can uh, make some big plays. All right, uh, coach, hopefully the road finds you well once again uh, this week. Keep you guys healthy. We wish you best of luck. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. Paul Tollestrude, head coach of the Mabel Canton Cougars. It's Mabel Canton at Houston this Friday night.